Hi, we're at Epcot today, and we're here to do a taste test. Our third taste test in two years. I'm Yay. excited. And there's actually one country that we've never done a taste test from. Really? Eh? Eh? Eh. Eh. That's awesome. Which one do we start with, eh? Let's start with Canada, eh? Hey. Yeah. Canada. So we. Carrie, are you watching? Hi. Hi. Hello, our friend from Canada. So we are doing another World Showcase taste test video, and we have four countries today. We wanted to do a fifth, but we actually ended up not getting anything from Japan, which is crazy. But anyways, um, we're going to start with Canada, and we both agreed on these two items to try. Okay. The first thing is some potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than Pennsylvania chips, but we figured we'd give it a try. These were priced at $3.45, and they are called the Covered Bridge Home Style Ketchup. Old fashioned kettle, which gotta love kettle. But the flavor is ketchup. So I don't know, have you ever recently, or even as a kid, I know I have, when you're craving french fries and you don't have french fries, do you ever use regular chips and dip them in ketchup? I have. Have you? No. Oh, am I the only one? Let's move along here. Folks. I guess so. But I think that's why these are flavored like ketchup because people like me wanted something with chips and ketchup together. Right? I don't know. Oh, I ate like a normal kid. Ooh, it smells like ketchup. Ooh, that's ketchup. Somebody did ketchup. First? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Good. I mean, it tastes like ketchup, but... It's all ketchup. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It's all ketchup. They're definitely kettle cooked because mm -hmm. they got that crispy kettle cooked taste to mm -hmm. them or uh, crunch to them. And uh, they were pretty much chips dipped into a bottle of ketchup and then cooked. Yeah, I mean, it's a bunch of seasonings, obviously, but I like them. Do you like them? I won't probably get them all the time. It's a lot of ketchup. I like just a little bit of ketchup with my chips, but I still like them. Mm -hmm. It's probably not Heinz ketchup. That's the problem. Mm. But I still like them. I would say I would get them. I would get them again. Right? Uh-huh. Moving along. So the next thing is, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but Brad and I love coconut. We love coconut stuff. Oh, got a strong one. And so we decided to try these coconut cream cookies from Canada. Coconut. And these were $4.95. Dare. And it's, yeah, just called Dare. And it says made better, made with real coconut, no artificial flavors, no preservatives. So mm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the box. Mm. Like. I'm sorry. Excited. Some of these chips hit you are harder than others. Okay, you're eating like a whole bag. Thanks for sharing. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Mm. They don't smell like coconut. I guess they smell like coconut. No. A they smell bit. toasted. So this is a cookie. It's just a cream cookie. Mm. It tastes like ketchup. <laughs> it is not. Mmm. These are really good. Mm -hmm. They remind me of something that I would, that the children at a daycare would be given. No. As a snack. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm, so you don't like them? And I'll eat them. I like them. Cool. Um, they don't mesmerize me. Well, I think the cream does. As you crumb all over the place. Mm -hmm. Well, the, cookie, fine. the cookie is like a shortbread cookie. They're fine. I'm um, not getting excited. 
He's going back to the chips. But um, it's I like they're open. I gotta eat them. It's a oh, hold on. Let's see how it goes. Ew! Don't do that. That's gross. Um, the cream center part is the part that tastes like coconut, obviously, because it says coconut cream. And it's like a shortbread cookie on like the main part of it, obviously. But I would totally get it again. Huh. I would it I'm gonna eat a little later. I'm not doing both of them. That's okay. Love you, but hi. So, what's country next? That was our ode to Canada. We. Oui. Where are you going to go next? I forgot where. Germany. Ah! Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Germany! More pretzels. Or uh, chips. Wait, like, right? Yeah. There's like a trend to this Holy video. God. There's a lot of chips. I feel like there's a lot of coconut stuff and a lot of chips, so I apologize. But I'll talk about it since you already dug into huh. it. This is the Lorenz Snack World Naturals, which is potato chips. And the flavor is mild paprika. It's it, mild. It says pure pleasure with natural ingredients, no artificial flavorings, no preservatives, and without gluten. And these retail for $4.45. You get a pretty generous size bag. Compared to the bag size of Canada, you definitely get a lot more bang for your buck, for sure. It's filled. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty to the top. Good too. job, Germany. You do stuff your bags. Mm, that's not good. It just smells like. It is very mild. Really good. You like it? Obviously, he's eating it. But the bag's I'm, open. Let me have another one. I like this a lot. The paprika almost has like a mild like barbecue flavor to it too. But smoke. Uh oh. But I really like it. These melt. Um, but On to the next I really one. like it. So the next thing from Germany we got Tiffany? Tiffany? Who? I don't know. Tof Who's Tiffany? Tof 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 she was a good singer in the 80s. Tof what? Tofife? Tofife? I don't know how to pronounce this. But it's um, candy and it's a whole hazelnut caramel hazelnut cream and chocolate. So that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Price on these, <laughs> I'm not really sure. What? How do we know? Were they free? Six dollars. How do you know it was six dollars? No. No, I think it was like four or five. But, <clears throat> ew. So they melted a little bit, but this is what <laughs> it looks like. It's a little shell with chocolate in it. But. It's very chewy. Mm. I think they're, I don't know. I taste caramel. And hazelnut. Is there a nut in the middle? Mm-hmm, hazelnut. It almost tastes a little stale, to be honest. I don't know, what's the expiration date? Right in the middle, Bob. 12.31. Mm-hmm, not stale. Mm. it has like a distinct taste. It's good, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Like, no. it's probably not overloaded with tons of sugar like we do in the U.S. Yeah, it's so good. I, I like it. I just maybe wouldn't get it again. Thanks, Germany, for those two things. On to our second last country. This is China. Ah, oh, China. Mm -hmm. good. Why are you opening up the stuff before I even get to say what it is? Oh, okay. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. I can smell it from over here. Whoa. So these are called Happy Star. Happy Stars? Yeah. And it's a strawberry corn cracker. And boy, can you smell the strawberry. Like, it is strong. Very pungent. These were only $2.95. Okay, sorry, there's a glare. Can you see? <laughs> you know the theme over there. Yeah. These were only $2.95, so let's see how they are. Hi. Definitely a star. Uh -huh. 
Holy moly. Ew, he just spit at me. Really, I think he just spit at you. It tastes like cereal. Yeah, is, is that what you're supposed to do? Milk? It tastes like cereal. Ah! It tastes like... Captain Crunch! Woohoo! Or back in the day when we had the strawberry shortcake cereal. I think there was such a thing. Was there such a thing? Yes. Mm, Captain I Crunch. I do like them. Captain Crunch. I totally would get these as a snack in the park for only $2.95. I totally would get these again. Captain Crunch. Mm-hmm. I like them. Mm. I like them. Coconut hard toffee. So this one again is coconut. I'm sorry we have lots of coconut in this trip as well as um, chips, but. Sorry, I just had a coconut burp. Mm. So this one doesn't even look like it's from China, but it, we did get it at the China Pavilion. It's the original Chimes toasted coconut hard toffee with sea salt made with fresh coconut milk. It's $4.95. Let's dig in. Oh, so they come in little packages. Why are you having a typical? Oh, there's a cute little crabby on the back. Here. Look at the little crabby. He's so cute. Yeah, it says tear here. That's why. I can't tear. I got it just fine without using my teeth. Wait, how'd you tear? Mm. I'm supposed to suck on it. It's hard. It's definitely real coconut milk. The coconut is good. The toffee's a little no flavor. It tastes like I feel like it almost. Whatever. It's nothing really special. No. I like it, but nothing special. Just eat it. Eat it. On to the last country. I'm trying to eat the last thing. Just swallow it. So. Mexico? Mm-hmm. Always something new in Mexico. There was two other things that I wanted to get when we went back to get them, and they didn't have any more. I was so mad. They didn't restock from earlier in the day. So, oh well. But I didn't want to get them because the stuff that I wanted to get was chocolate. And of course it would have melted. I guess we're sharing. And I wanted to wait until we left so that it wouldn't melt in the car. But the first thing we got was the mazapan or mazapan, I'm not sure. It's mm -hmm. called the authentic peanut candy. And this is what it looks like. Brad already again opened it. That's what it looks like on the inside of the package. This retailed only for $2.95. So, let's try it. Oh. Mmm. That's good. So, it almost tastes like you're putting a bunch of, so you know those little like peanut butter balls that you can make with like peanut butter, confectionery, sugar, and I think what, butter and then sugar? It almost tastes like the confectionery sugar in your mouth with peanut butter and then like hard, not hard nuts, but like crunchy peanuts in there. You don't like it? Peanut butter's okay. I like it. I totally would get this again. Never been a fan of peanut butter. Hmm, it just like melts in your mouth. I like it. That's cool. Mm-hmm. It's all right. I like it. Mm. It's all right. I'm chilling. So, last thing. That's so good. Um, what are these? I forget what it's called. Gr Grampy Rico? Sure. Number seven? Was there another name on the back? I don't know. $2.95. Mm. I think they're small peanuts, right? I think it's like candy peanuts. Yeah. Whoops. He just opened it. Yeah. Does it taste like baked beans? Yeah, for like, a lot. Like the baked bean candy. 
Mm, okay. Totally what it is. So, as a kid, do you ever get, they call them Boston baked beans. It's a candy and they're red covered peanuts that are made to look like baked beans. And you get them a lot at like historical places. Like when you go to say Getty's. Aren't they mixed with Cracker Jacks? No. Mm. Maybe. This tastes like Boston baked beans. Oh, they have these in bars? No. Don't go to bars. It has a little bit different flavor than the Boston baked beans, but it's essentially what it is. I totally would get it again because I like those. Um, I feel like the candy coating on these are a little bit. These are probably old. It's probably this bag's been around for a while. Yeah, I feel like the coating it's on this fresh. is not fresh because it's like crumbling right off. I don't oh, know. Maybe they're also sticking together. They're sticking together, so I'm not sure if it's they like that. Melted a couple dozen times and. But. This coating was a little bit more sugary than the Boston baked beans. Wouldn't you say? Overall, this taste test has been okay. Mm -hmm. We've had some better ones. Yeah. Some tastier ones. Get some unique ones from Japan. Mm -hmm. We didn't do Japan this time. No. But I feel like nothing was like truly disgusting like the knickknacks. Sorry. Those knickknacks. <laughs> he ate them, but he still said they weren't good. But oh my God. We nah. love doing these kind of taste test videos and I hope Disney keeps... What are you looking like that for? Um, Batman. <coughs> Batman. Okay, stop. Oh. So we love doing these taste test videos and we hope that the countries keep bringing in new and different things so that we can keep sharing them with you because we really enjoy doing them. Still waiting to see if the rumor is true about Brazil. Mm -hmm. Was not announced at D23. Mm -hmm. So... Maybe there's not a new country coming like we thought. Yeah, maybe. I'm or maybe a, they're just not ready to. I'd like to it. see a new country, but there's a lot of other stuff coming. So um, that would be the end of our taste test. Thanks yeah. for hanging out with us and um, watching us taste the test. Sure. But oh, I really enjoyed back. it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, definitely, I would recommend trying all of these. None of them, except for those toasted coconut toffee things. Those weren't necessarily my favorite. But I would probably get everything else again. I'm um, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, y'all. Have a most magical day wherever you are. And no, Crush is not from Disney World. He just loves drinking Crush. What are you talking about? They have Crush. Coca-Cola. Wait, no, that's not from there. That's Fanta. Sorry, Fanta. never mind. Okay, that's bye. That's what I was trying to say. Bye. Bye, guys.